Hey friends, today we are going to be visiting several of my favorite thrift stores and antique malls around Walt Disney World looking for some unique Disney props and Disney memorabilia and then we're going to have a special live stream auction where you guys are going to have an opportunity to purchase everything I get in today's video plus some of my own private collection. This is something I've always wanted to do and I'm so excited. Anywho's, let's go do this. On top of everything I buy in today's video, I'm also going to be auctioning off some items from my personal collection. As you guys can tell, I have a little obsession with Disney memorabilia, and I have collected so much that I don't even have blank wall space. Like, I can't even hang anything new up, and I have things just sitting on the floor waiting to actually get hung up. So, I'm going to be putting some of my own private collection out there. I have everything from Haunted Mansion props to animatronic props, some really interesting pieces and I'm gonna be excited to give you an opportunity to own some of it. This is something I've always wanted to do but I didn't know how to do it because I can't sell things through YouTube so I partnered up with Whatnot. Whatnot is a live streaming auction app so I'm gonna host a live stream and we're gonna be auctioning off all these awesome Disney props, vintage Disney memorabilia like theme park use things and uh, you guys are gonna have an opportunity to bid on them so like we're gonna be hanging out just talking about the items talking about their history and it's gonna be fun like I'm very excited there's gonna be a link in the description if you guys want to join the live stream just click the link I'm gonna put it in the pinned comments too and that's gonna help you set up your whatnot app and it's gonna also give you ten dollars off your first purchase and if you already have whatnot just search paging mr. Mar I'm sure I'll pop up and the best thing about this is is everything that I sell uh, if I buy something that's $100 and it sells for $150, we're going to donate the $50 to give kids the World Village. So I'm not going to be making a profit off any of the items. We're just testing it out, uh, you know, giving it a go. If the live stream works well and you guys like it, maybe we'll do more. So we're going to head out, start shopping around. I'm going to try to find as many cool items, things that will be like a dollar to 100 a nice big variety, and uh, auction them off. So let's go shopping. Our first stop is going to be here at Forever Vintage and Surplus in Dundee, Florida. And like I said, I will put all of the information in the description if you guys ever want to come check it out. And I love coming here. They have some of the coolest things that they sell. Things you would never be able to buy anywhere else. Like this right here. As soon as, we, as, soon as I walked in, I was like, holy moly, look at this like merchandise stand this was from disney's hollywood studios and look at the mickey on top it's pretty massive i mean it's huge it's taller than i am and this is all the information about it and that is such a cool thing i mean i'm not too sure what people would do with that uh they have some other things i think this is a magic or mega beacon platform from magic kingdom it's a platform from magic kingdom oh this is a uh, disney's animal kingdom uh, shelf right here. I love that and all of it actually has like information about the uh, item itself So lots of cool things and I can't wait to go in the store and show you more now, because this is my first time ever doing anything like this, I'm not going to be buying anything like gigantic. You know what I mean? Everything that I buy is going to be easy to ship because I got to test it out. You know, I've never done anything like this before, but just because it's going to be smaller items doesn't mean they're not going to be amazing. I mean, there might be like a decent size. It's just I'm not going to be able to send you a gigantic hidden Mickey shelf. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Forever Vintage, offering authentic resort and park used merchandise and props. And they've got like a nice little retail store here. And also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but we're going to be doing giveaways. We're going to be giving away props during the auction too. So as long as you're in there and you're signed up, there's a good chance you'll be walking away with something really awesome. Look at how cool this store is. First, you can see the World of Disney rug right here. They have a Chernobog. Uh, picture right here which is really really cool and then lots of other amazing props and things from the parks one of the things I noticed as soon as I walked in was this seven doors mine train po uh, prop this is a bucket from the seven doors mine train at Walt Disney it actually says Walt Disney World on there how cool is that like to own a piece of seven doors mine train and then they also have this really cool tiki god from the Polynesian Resort look at that I mean, that's really, really awesome. This is actually from the Polynesian. That is, like I said, these things are so cool. 
And like I said, I'm gonna be visiting multiple places today, like shopping around. So it's gonna be hard to show you everything that I buy as I'm actually going about doing it. I'm gonna show you some stuff that they have for sale in the stores. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna do a big haul. Like I'm gonna show you everything, break it down, and basically describe how the auction's gonna work. So at the end of the video, if you wanna see everything that I end up buying, just make sure you watch then. One of the things I'm always obsessed with are Disney rugs, like the resort rugs. I think this is from Coronado. And then they also have Animal Kingdom Lodge over here. Look at this. Isn't that so cool? These are carpets and rugs from the resorts themselves. And then they also have benches and it's, it's like so much fun. I love looking at everything in here. I'm sure this is from Animal Kingdom too. A big gigantic drum. I'm also a sucker for anything that has a hidden Mickey in it. You know what I mean? Hidden Mickeys, I always think it's cool. I mean, anything that has a Mickey on it really catches people's eyes. But I also like telling people like, hey, check that out. There's a hidden Mickey in there. And they have a Grand Floridian picture, like a picture that they actually like hung in the Grand Floridian rooms that I think is one of the coolest things that you can actually get. Check this out. I mean, it's really cool. I like the way it looks and, and it kind of fits perfectly in the Grand Floridian. It's a little bit creepy, <laughs> but uh, take a look at Duffy right here. And if you look at the bottom of his uh, foot, you can see a little hidden Mickey there. So that would be like a nice piece to maybe add. Not too big and I can ship that. Oh, and then also look at this. They have some fancy dining ware from Victoria and Albert's. The very fancy restaurant. I love that. Very, very cool. It's so funny because as I'm walking around looking at all these items, I'm seeing things that I want to buy, like for myself, but I'm looking mainly just like to sell it to you guys for an experience and everything like that. But like, I'm like, okay, I want this. And I was talking about how I have so much stuff now, I can't even hang anything on my walls, but I keep on seeing things that I want to hang on my walls. This is something that's really cool. It's a luggage cart from Disney's Contemporary Resort and it's also number 33. And if you look at the bottom here, it actually has the Contemporary logo on it. That is something that's really awesome. I mean, I don't know what I would do with a luggage cart, but also check out these bathrobes. And these bathrobes over here are really, really special. These are the bathrobes from the uh, Cinderella Royal Suite, the room that's inside Cinderella Castle. and you can only get these if you stayed there so like it's really really awesome they say princess and prince on them and uh yeah you can buy these i think maybe we should get one of these princess ones i mean it's for a little child or a kid and uh yeah i mean this is super rare i mean i, I just want to go inside the cinderella royal suite I think we're definitely gonna get one of the Cinderella Royal Suite bathrobes. And you guys can, you know, bid for that. You can actually, I'm gonna put it in the auction. And some child out there, some little girl, is really gonna feel like a princess. Like, that right there is probably one of the rarest things to come by, honestly. If you guys know what the Cinderella Royal Suite is, you know what I'm talking about. And I would love to see somebody get that and own that. That would be absolutely amazing. I found another really awesome, interesting piece, and this is a Walt Disney game, an intimate history of the man and his magic, and it's signed by Diane Disney Miller, Walt Disney's daughter, and I mean, it's a, like a PC, it's for everyone, but uh, on the back, it actually tells you like what it's all about, and right in the center, begin your journey in the main hall where you'll meet Diane Disney Miller and her family and explore Walt's extraordinary life and rich exciting 3d environment so that's really cool that she signed this I mean I love this this is such a cool piece forever vintage was fun I got a lot of cool things for the upcoming auction and like I said don't worry at the end of the video we're gonna go over all of it we're gonna actually like kind of do like a, a haul video everything that I ended up buying today but uh, yeah a lot of really cool stuff I love going to forever vintage they have an awesome Facebook uh, group too so you guys should check that out and now we're gonna go to our next stop like I said we're gonna go to multiple places today uh, the next one is in Lakeland at the Lakeland Antique Mall this is one of my all-time favorite places to go 
If you guys watch my videos enough, you know I love coming to the Antique Mall. They have hundreds of vendors in here selling unbelievably amazing things. Like theme park used props. They have some awesome vintage Disney things. And I just love it. They even have Walt Disney's autograph on a Snow White doll in here. Like So we saw Diane Disney Miller's autograph and Walt Disney's autograph down here. Any of the theme park used props or resort used stuff will have a little wear and tear to them because they're used and I kind of like that, you know what I mean? And also some of the things do come with certificates of authenticity. So anything that we do end up buying and putting up for the auction, I'll try to put all the paperwork in it, give some more backstory. And uh, like I said, make sure it's in the best shape, even though like, you know what I mean? There is going to be some use to it because it's used. They have a little bit of everything down here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. And I bet you we should probably do some Disney pins, like Disney pin trading for the auction. But they do have some down here. But we have another place that we're going to stop to later in the video that has really awesome Disney pin trading. But take a look at this Velociraptor. Look at this. You can actually buy a Raptor from Universal Studios Orlando. Isn't that so amazing? I mean, we're not going to buy that today. I mean, I don't even know how I would ever ship that to somebody. But that's just a big Raptor. They have some really awesome cast member items like cast member name tags and uniforms and costumes and stuff like that. So I think that would be cool. I think we're going to get some cast member name tags auction off to try to find some unique names or very popular names. So if anybody ever wants to get like a cast member name tag, we can uh, auction it off during the auction. So we'll see what they have. I also got a good mixture of names. So I got Teresa, and this is cool because that's one of the other Walt Disney World name tags. And then I got Susan, and this is a 50th anniversary one. And then we got the Alex from Orlando right there. That's really cool. And then Jim. Jim, <laughs> I like it. So yeah, if you guys know, you can buy these. When cast members lose their name tags, uh, they have some on hand, like, and they're just generic. So if you see Chris from Orlando or an Alex from Orlando, it's usually because the cast member lost their name tag and they just needed to have something. A little bit of magic there. So maybe we'll get an Alex in Orlando because that'll be for anybody in case they lost their name tags. And that'll be a fun thing to auction off. The antique mall is just so massive and whenever I tell people to come down and check it out like you'll get lost in here for hours and each little individual booth has amazing things. This right here is the art corner and they actually have had they have original Winnie the Pooh artwork that like was used in Walt Disney's productions like they even have the Walt Disney stamp on them and these sell like really really expensive $550 uh, $1100 they have everything a little bit for everybody. They have a big selection of Funko Pops here. Like I said, these are all individual boots too. Like individual sellers. Oh, look at all the McDonald's Happy Meal buckets. Those kind of make me feel nostalgic. If you do ever come down to the Lakeland Antique Mall, and also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but everywhere I'm shopping today is open to the public. Everyone can come and shop here. But if you do end up coming down here, make sure you guys make your way all the way to the back. There's a lot of great vendors. I mean, there's vendors all around, but I hear so many people that don't even make it all the way through the Lakeland Antique Mall, and they're just like, holy moly, there is so much stuff there, because it, it is huge. It can get a little overwhelming. But all the way in the back, they have vault collectibles. This is one of the boots that have so many different things. A little bit of everything. Universal, uh, all Disney stuff, Haunted Mansion stuff. Actually, this is a really, really awesome piece over here. This is a shelf, a cabinet from Memento More, the store at the Magic Kingdom. Look at this. It was in that one room where you did the pictures and it was the jar, like the ghost jars. This is that exact shelf right here. Isn't that so cool? It's like, uh, it's something like that. Like, it just blows my mind. I absolutely love this. Things like that are absolutely priceless and people pay a lot of money for them. And during the auction itself, I kind of want to make sure that I have something, like I said, for everybody. So we're going to be starting off the bid on like some items for a dollar. You know what I mean? Like some things are going to be starting off at a dollar. So it, it's going to be fun. And plus, like I said, we do giveaway. So if you're just there, you're actually going to have an opportunity to win some things. Recycling the Magic is another awesome booth that has really rare like Disneyland items. Like look at that gigantic Disneyland hotel uh, banner there. That's really cool and so many things that you can just dig through. Lots of Grand Floor. I love this Mickey and Company lamp. That is so awesome. Couldn't ship that though. That'd be a little bit tough. <laughs> I mean, it is glass. 
or take a look at these benches. This one I think is from the Polynesian Resort. Like this bench right here. Yeah, this is from the, the Polynesian Resort. And then this bench is from the Animal Kingdom. And I, I, I like that sign, have a wild time. That's a really awesome sign. This is like, like I said, there's so much amazing things. I'm gonna buy some things, I'm gonna buy a lot of things. Since we're in the Halloween season, it looks like they're selling some of the pieces of the Mickey pumpkin wreaths. Look how cool that is. I mean, I love Mickey pumpkin wreaths and to actually own something or a piece of it. I mean, I wish I could own the Mickey pumpkin, but just the parts or maybe the candy corn. I wonder if they have any of that special candy corn. You know what I'm talking about? This one right here. I love that. If I can get a Mickey pumpkin wreath candy corn piece, that would be phenomenal even a couple of other pieces just to you know put them in the auction so people could be like hey i own a piece of the mickey pumpkin or i own halloween decorations from magic kingdom i think that that stuff to me i love out of all of the different items from the mickey pumpkin rate though this candy corn is probably the most recognizable and i love that to actually own a piece of the candy corn from a mickey pumpkin wreath i feel like that is priceless i feel like that is such an amazing thing okay this is something i absolutely love and honestly it's something that i would actually want to keep for myself this is a Pepsi Cola advertisement for Disneyland. It's happy birthday Mickey, buy a Pepsi, keep the glass. And they actually had this uh, on display for Mickey Mouse's 50th birthday party at Disneyland in 1978. This is really super awesome. I love this, it's so cool. It's just this inside here, but uh, it's selling for $300 and I think that is just such a cool thing because if you know the history of the Coke and Pepsi wars at Disney, like that's why I love it so much. And it actually does have a certificate of authenticity right here that comes along with it. So this is a really awesome piece and we're adding it to the auction. We're adding it in. Here are a couple of cool things that I think would fit in perfect with the auction. These are shower curtains from uh, the Disney resorts. This is from the Art of Animation. This is a Lion King, well, uh, Timon and Pumbaa, but this is the shower curtain that hangs in the Lion King rooms. So we're gonna add those. And then they also have an aerial one here too. I think it's right here, look it. So I think these are really, really awesome. And we're gonna add them in there. Ooh, and a Polynesian one. The Polynesian one looks so cool though, look at that. That is really, really awesome. I feel like any auction should have like a big ticket item to actually get people's attention. So we're gonna be looking for like one of those big ticket items. And if anything, I'd find it down here at the Lakeland Antique Mall. Um, I do have one already that I'm gonna put in the auction that I'll show you guys a little bit later on, but maybe we could find something here. And like I said, I mean, if things are gonna, things are gonna be auctioned and bidded off, and uh, if they you know, end up selling for more than what I pay for, all that's going to give kids the world. So I'm very happy for that. I mean, I would love to be able to have the opportunity to actually send a whole entire family on vacation to the village. I mean, I don't know, maybe we could raise that much money. I mean, it would be really awesome. Like just being able to do that on my own. I mean, I would love that. So we'll see, but we gotta find a big ticket item. Some of the things I'm gonna show you are gonna be super valuable. And like I said, I'm always shocked and surprised at the things that you'll find here. One of the things that caught my eye immediately are these vintage Disney lunch boxes. Look at this. This is a Disneyland lunchbox from I think 1980. Yeah, uh, oh wait, yeah, 1960. 1960, it's $189 and it comes with the thermos in it. It's got the monorail and the 20,000 leagues under the sea. And then they have another one over here called the Disney Parade one. This one is cool, but the lid is missing on the cup. It's only $75 for that one, but it's still a cool lunchbox. And then these are some of the other items. Now I'm not gonna be able to buy those, but this is the Snow White Scary Adventure Prop Apple. So this is the apple the witch actually used to hold on the attraction. That's $1,900. And then I always point out this one right here because I think it's awesome. This is a Walt Disney autographed Snow White doll. Isn't that amazing? So Walt Disney actually signed her leg right here. And most of this stuff has been sold through Disney Anna. So it comes with the COA. This is selling for $12,000, $12,000. But I'm also interested in this, look at this. It's a wonderful world of Disney magazine. This is only $69. I think I'm gonna get it. 
that isn't even a uh, Wonderful World of Disney magazine. That's actually an original advertisement for the magazine, which I think is super cool. Like, that is awesome. So we're definitely going to add that to the collection and the lunchbox. I think the lunchbox is really vintage and really cool looking, and it has a thermos in it. And I'm going to show you a couple of the items that we are going to buy, like a couple of the things that we are going to actually put in the auction. The other stuff, like I said, I'm just going to wait till the end and do a big grand reveal. When I think of big ticket, I think of something that is really cool and also very historical. And this construction hat is kind of, it's, it's getting my attention. It's a Buena Vista construction company hat from 1970. Look at that, 1970 Walt Disney Productions. So, I mean, 1970s, like think about that. Was this construction hat maybe used in the development of Walt Disney World? Is this a, a history of Walt Disney World? I mean, that would be so kind of crazy. I mean, I mean, it'd be at the tail end touches there, but I think I like this. I think this is a cool piece to put in the auction. I think we're gonna pull the trigger on it and add it in. Here are a couple of other affordable things that I can add into the auction. These were all different Disneyland e-tickets and random things. Also, a uh, no strings attached pass. Maybe put those in the auction too because that's actually really cool. And you can buy all this stuff. Isn't that so amazing? I love all of this stuff. And it's actually not that like high price. It's like in the $20 price range. So that's really, really cool. I love vintage Walt Disney World stuff. All right, we got lots of amazing things from the Lakeland Antique Mall, and we got one more stop to go back up to Kissimmee to the character corner to check out some Disney pins. And then we're gonna go home and uh, do a little haul, show you guys everything that I bought today. Now we've made it over to the place that I was talking about that has the excellent Disney pin trading shop. Like this place is probably one of the best places to go buy Disney pins and it's the character corner, Disney collectibles. We buy, sell and trade and this is located actually in Kissimmee. So very close to Disney and they always have amazing things in here. So we're gonna find some nice things that we can add to the auction here as well. All of the places that I'm actually visiting today, I'm going to put all of their information in the description so you guys can check it out in case you ever want to come visiting them. And like I said, this place is always one of my go-to places and it's the closest to my house and the parks themselves in case you're ever on vacation here. Like I said, this is Pin Central here. And I don't know that much about pins, but I do know like when they are, you know, LE, limited edition, obviously, the more limited they are, the better and more desired they are. And uh, I'm gonna get a couple of pins that we can auction off. And this being one of them right here, because every time I come in here, I actually look at it and I always think it's just so beautiful. This is the Florida Project pen and it's an Epcot Center. This is like a, a big, big deal and it opens up. You can see you got Walt on one side. Look at this, Walt on one side, Figment on the other, and then the monorail and then the awesome, we call it Epcot speech right in the center there. This is such an amazing pen. So adding this to our auction, I'm gonna be so happy. And look at the boxes. It even says it on there, limited edition, <laughs> Florida project, and it's limited edition of only 500. So they only ever made 500 of these, just 500. It's getting so difficult because there's so many things that I do want to actually like buy and auction off, but I do have to ship it off, like I said, and this is going to be the first time I'm doing it. Maybe in the future we'll start doing bigger items and things like that, but this is kind of just like a test run, just to, you know, see how things go. And uh, I don't want to go too big, you know what I mean? Just keep it nice and uh, nice and small. Take a look at all these really cool bean, uh, beanie babies. I think that's what you would call them. I don't know, uh, it's been a long time. I know that these were a big fat. Is that Mary Poppins right there? I think, I feel like this is Mary Poppins and Bert. Look at that. The Disney store, I wonder from when this was. <laughs> that is such a cool thing. Bert, bean bag, and Mary Poppins. I love this. This is actually really, really fun. I think we might actually add this to the list. Yeah, that seems like a fun, cool little thing to actually auction off. 
the character corner is always my go-to spot for Disney pins. They are absolutely amazing there. I always love going and checking out things and it's super close. It's literally five minutes away from Walt Disney World. So now we're gonna head home. I'm gonna show you everything we got, talk about the auction and talk about the items too. I did get a lot of stuff. Like that's what I said. I was like, it's gonna be hard for me to film all these items and shop at the same time because I got a lot. I have a car full of good, awesome items that I cannot wait to actually auction off. I mean, I have so much stuff here. It's gonna be really interesting seeing how it goes. And also, we have a lot of stuff that we're gonna be giving away too. So during the live stream, we're gonna be giving away some random items, some bags and stuff like that. And then also a couple of big pieces just for people that are coming into the uh, live stream to check it out. So we're gonna have like a couple of like large giveaway items and it's gonna be, it's it's gonna be a good time. I'm like so excited and I hope you guys are all gonna come join me. All right, we are back in the house and I've got everything out that I'm gonna be auctioning off and we got a lot of stuff. I'm actually very happy. I mean, we have tons of items, things that are gonna be, you know, very affordable. Some things are for diehard Disney fans and I'm gonna kind of just give you a run through of each item. Just real quick, uh, brief description, but uh, I got like 30 some items including the things that I'm gonna be adding in and I kind of love them all I would keep everything on this table I would literally have it in my own collection if I didn't already have so much stuff already But yeah, so uh, we'll start off here I ended up getting and like I said, this is all for auction and all anything that I paid for uh, If we do make a profit on it, it's gonna go straight to give kids the world. So I'm very happy about that uh, We have three shower curtains. I have a Polynesian shower curtain a Lion King one and the Little Mermaid. I ended up getting the Wonderful World of Disney Magazine advertisement. This is an original advertisement. This is very, very cool. I got a Hollywood Studios operating hour assigned. I think that's fun. I've got a Beauty and the Beast, Dooney and Burke. We've got some Club 33 pins. These are really cool. These ones are from Walt Disney World. So this is the spot. This is a Club 33 in Hollywood Studios. Club 33 in Animal Kingdom and Club 33 at Epcot. We have the Disneyland lunchbox that does come with the thermos. We've got the Bert and Mary beanie bags. We have a whole entire unopened box of the Hunchback of Notre Dame trading cards. A whole entire box, 48 packs. We have a 1940s Ben Cooper Mickey Mouse mask. This is so awesome and also super rare. This one is older. I'm not even too sure how old this one is. This is Peter Pan, but he's kind of creepy looking and it's different material. These are very vintage and they come in those little preserved bags. We have the Buy Pepsi Mickey Mouse Happy Birthday sign. This is this is one of my favorite pieces right here. I'm in love with this. We have the Cinderella Royal Suite robe for the the kids this one is very cool both of those items are super rare we have the epcot florida project medallion oh it's on this side this is super awesome limited edition 500 we've got the pieces of the mickey wreath including the candy corn that one i'm super excited to sell we have a actual theme park ride well uh kind of attraction prop. This is one of the black balls from Buzz Lightyear, Astro Blaster. That one is super awesome. We have the Grand Floridian artwork in the back there. These are cool. We ended up getting the Duffy one with the hidden Mickey. And like I was telling you, anything that has a certificate of authenticity, uh, I'm gonna make sure to include it. So like this right here actually has the Disney Worldwide Shared Services on there, you see? So that's your COA right there. <laughs> We've got the Haunted Mansion, Madam Little Leota. I'm gonna show you guys that in a second because that's really cool. We got some no strings attached passes. We've got the name tags, the contemporary. A little bit of everything. Like I said, we have a good lot. And of course, the Buena Vista Construct Construction Company hard hat. This one's really cool. I would definitely keep this in my collection too. But it's all going to you guys. You guys can all buy it. 
if there's something that you really want to get and you're going to be trying to bid for it, make sure you look it up and make sure it's everything that you want. You know what I mean? Make sure it's exactly what you're looking for. I tried to describe and get as much information as possible. And also during the live stream, we're going to be talking about it as the auctioning or the bidding is happening. So either way, it's just going to be a fun time where a bunch of people are going to be able to get together and just kind of hang out. So I'm excited for that. I'm going to show you a couple of the items up close and and everything else should be listed already. Oh man, my glasses are starting to get foggy. All I'm doing is standing on my balcony here. I come out to my balcony because it's echoey inside my house. But look at that. Woo! One of the things I was talking about that I was excited to auction off is uh, this piece of film from the Haunted Mansion. If you guys ride the Haunted Mansion, you see the little Leota that's actually in the corner of the ride as you're exiting. Well, this is a piece of that 16 millimeter film of uh, little Leota. Look at that. That's her right there. It's projected onto her face. And it comes with a certificate of authenticity. And it was for the Walt Disney World. So this is going to be in there too. And I think it's just a, it's such a cool piece though. Look at that. It's so hard to see, but I love it. And with that, I think we are done here today. I am beyond excited. Like I said, the auction is going to be September 29th. I mean, August 29th, which is this Monday uh, at 7.30 p.m. And uh, that's Eastern Standard Time because I live here in Florida. And that's going to be a lot of fun. The link is going to be in the description. Make sure you guys join up through the link because, like I said, you get the $10 off. If you already have the WhatNot app, then search Paging Mr. Marl. You'll actually find me in there. All you have to do is set it up set up your information and you'll be able to start bidding on things and if you have any questions I'm sure they have a troubleshooting guide in there and uh, if you want to look at all the items I think everything should be loaded up already by the time you see this video hopefully everything should be all loaded up ready to go and uh, we we'll just be waiting I figured I'd give it a couple of days so people can actually watch the video and find out about the thing and if it goes well if things you know you like this let me know make sure you guys let me know if you like doing this live auction when it comes to like the Disney props and stuff like that and we can start doing more we could do bigger things and better things and uh, just have fun so uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video also I do want to say a big thank you to all the vendors actually that are selling these items recycling the magic actually gave me 10% off some of the stuff so that it could help actually get more money for give kids a world village same thing with vault collectibles they actually gave me a couple things that I can add in there for free and uh, give them away to you guys and the same thing with forever vintage and uh, the character corner all of them are fantastic people and I love getting to know all of them so thank you guys so much and also the Lakeland Antique Mall every single worker down there is so polite and every time I go in there I just get happy and uh, yeah so <laughs> hope you guys join the live stream and uh, we'll see you next time bye